everybody welcome to another vlog from uber dc today's vlog is number 87 that's right we just posted 86 that was uh, friday's driving around it turned out to be a pretty good day uh, my final result was uh, including cash tips and tolls and everything else uh, was about two hundred dollars in uh, eight hours a little over two hundred dollars in eight hours so uh, not too bad considering uh, the rates are so freaking low now <laughs> but it is what it is and uh that money's going straight to my vegas fund which is pretty good so uh, we're hoping for another uh 100 plus day if we could do a 200 plus day like yesterday that would be uh awesome uh, there's really no reason why i shouldn't have a uh, big day it's saturday and, uh, we should get a lot more uh a lot more business probably won't get too many airport runs but Stick around, we'll see what we get today. Thanks for watching Uber DC vlog number 87. We'll be right back. So how is it possible that Uber is losing money? I, I, I gotta think everybody is scratching their head on this one. It, it absolutely makes no sense. We have all these drivers out there bringing in millions of dollars a day a day and they keep saying they're losing money and they're paying us nothing so i don't know what they're doing with their money i mean high priced executives is all the money just going to those guys i mean i know there's a lot of investors in there and they need some money back too are they cutting those guys checks i mean it just it doesn't make any sense um also to my today's um or this weekend's bonus for me if I get uh, 40 rides I'll get an extra $25 that's actually a step up it used to be like 40 rides would get me $15 <laughs> maybe that's how they're losing money is uh, the bonuses everybody's making the bonuses why well, no I'm not making the bonuses I got to think a lot of part-timers probably might not be because yeah like I said we're just uh, part-time drivers so I don't know that's that's interesting I'd like to get that feedback i just got a ping from uber and you guys probably get this too uh leave you know uh how do you rate uber and all that and i always give them uh, a three well, then i leave a little comment today's comment was how is it possible that you guys are losing money i mean it just doesn't make sense of of any kind no business can survive like this so it makes you wonder what the hell they're doing uh, who's doing their books? I mean, I'm not an accountant or anything, but I do simple math. But anyhow, let's go find some passengers. That's my uh, two cents today. Uh, how are you guys doing? We'll be back. All right, now we're filming. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another vlog from Uber DC, number 87. I got two lovely ladies one from england one from australia laura and alicia say hi ladies hi hey, hey. say hello to the world introduce yourselves one more time I'm everybody laura know from england and i'm from australia this is take two <laughs> <laughs> we're taking these ladies on a shopping spree i'm not taking them on a shopping spree they're going on a shopping spree yeah, ready to spend all of our money we are ready they are ready they're going to donate some of their hard-earned money <laughs> um, to, to America. Great. All right, we will put you, let's put you right here. This is yeah, one of the entrances good. to the mall. Lovely. And uh, you. ladies, you all have a great time. Yeah, thank you very uh, much. Say goodbye to the world for us. Bye. And uh, maybe we'll catch you again. <laughs> yeah, Take you. care. Well, that was very cool. Thank you, uh, Laura and Alicia. Hope you all have a great time uh, shopping here at uh, Tyson's Corner. Uh, good luck on your studies and uh, good luck on your future trip to New York City. All right, after dropping them off, we just got another ping. We're going to go pick up uh, Zach at the Rich Carlton. Let's find out what Zach's got going on today. I am sure it is going to be something fabulous. We'll be back. Alrighty, that was Zach and his lovely wife dropping them off at a uh, wedding. We used the uh, Mario Andretti uh, School of Fast Driving to get them here. 
they might have been a couple of minutes late, but they said it was all good. All good. All right, let's go uh, find somebody else. We're we're, uh, we're doing really good right now. We're averaging um, seventeen dollars a trip. If I could keep that up all day, uh, we'll have a, another great day. All right, we'll be back. Alrighty, that was uh, Mati. Mati, and that was a nick nickname, as she told me. And uh, nice thing about that is that was a $17 trip. So we are right on. We're averaging $17. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> and 25 cents a ride. $17.25 a ride on the button. That's good. And that's only three rides. <laughs> See if we can get some more, except now I'm kind of in a, a uh, heavily populated area. So I'm probably going to get a couple of uh, short rides, but who knows? We'll see. We'll see. Stay tuned, everybody. We'll be right back. Alrighty, that was Maddie, and uh, that was a good ride, too. Actually, her ride was... Uh, $20, $21, so that's going to put me at $18, $18 a ride, something like that. Um, how long can this keep going? <laughs> oh, man, I got to hiccup something fierce. But anyhow, <laughs> I'm still making money and getting paid, so hiccup away. Oh, I know. Also, she told me when the ride started, because that was like 25 minutes ago. Um, she had an Uber driver who she didn't say, but it sounded, I mean, she, he was, um, he was a bit, um, um, aggressive with her as far as chat. She didn't want to talk and she said she didn't want to talk. She just wanted a quiet ride, but the guy kept, uh, chatting her up and, um, asking inappropriate questions and stuff. I, I didn't get too deep into it for her, but I, I said, you know, you've got a button on your phone. You can all, you know, if you ever feel threatened to use it, and uh, I don't know what would happen. I don't know what Uber does. They send a cop to find the car or, or what happens. And uh, she said the guy gave her, gave her a two-star rating when it was over because she said she had a, a good five-star rating. Um, but anyhow... Um, you know, come on, drivers. There's, uh, I mean, I know the, the passengers are just as bad as the drivers. <laughs> Some cases. Got to pull over here. Got cops. As long as he's not coming after me. Nope. <laughs> oh, there's a whole bunch of them. That is the worst feeling. To have cops coming up behind you. There is nothing, nothing worse than that. <laughs> Not to mention your heart skips a beat. Something big's going down though, because that was uh, four of them. Oh, and they got a police helicopter. Um, I don't know if I can get the police helicopter. Let me see. No, I can't get my camera around on it. But it's right there. <laughs> Whatever's going on, it's not too far away. Not too far away. They might be, uh, oh, I think they're chasing somebody. They are, they're chasing somebody. And he's right behind us. I'm not gonna be the hero, but that's who they're going after. And he went running across the street. But the helicopter's got an eyeball on him. Wow. <laughs> That was pretty crazy. That was pretty crazy. Um, yeah, I'm not going back after it. I'm not getting involved. I am not the hero. But uh, I guess I could have ran the guy over if he'd have ran out in front of me, just taking him down. Boom! <laughs> no, I probably would have gotten in trouble. Anyhow, uh, so come on, drivers. Uh, if the passenger wants a quiet drive, give him a quiet ride. And I'm sure most of most of us do. Um, the ones who don't uh, just don't know better. My guess is uh, they, they just don't know better. We'll leave it at that. I'm not going to make any other accusations. Anyhow, uh, that's it. So 
let's go find another passenger. That was pretty cool though. A cop doing the chase and the guy comes running out across the street. Oh well, and the helicopter's there too, so they got an eyeball on him. Unless it's more than one. Alrighty, later. All right, so I just had a passenger we picked up near where all this is going on. You can see there's the helicopter. There is something's going on. Squad cars everywhere. You can do multiple trips. I'm not going to leave I you here. All. Okay. You so much. Everybody. All righty. Take care. There it is. Huh. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All righty, well, that was uh, Megan. And we're gonna make sure she gets in okay. This guy's running loose in the neighborhoods. Uh, they got cops. They got cops everywhere. So, make sure she's good. All righty, cool. All right, we're gonna leave. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna do we leave that running just for a moment. I'm gonna try to capture capture some of those squad cars if I can. Do -do 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 -do. Backing up, backing up. Don't hit anything. Alrighty. Let's go see what we can get. They have obviously not found the guy yet because they are still still looking. Bump, 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 bump. Speed bumps. Still hear the helicopter. There's the, there's the helicopter. There's one squad car. So my guess is somebody got shot. Because there's no banks around. There's no banks around. And everybody's outside saying they saw this and they saw that. No, no, have no idea. And it's not that bad a neighborhood. It's just uh, one of those freaky things. All right, we'll be back. Well, that last trip cut my average down to $15.33, give or take a few pennies, which is still good, which is still good. In the earlier days, I like to average about $12 a ride, so I'm doing well over that right now. Um, anyhow, I turned the app off <laughs> just in case that guy pings me for a ride. I don't want to be picking him up. <laughs> that might uh, sound funny, but uh, it could happen. It's not going to happen on my watch. So we've uh, turned the app off till we get out of the area, and uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. That was uh, that was crazy. That was right in that, uh, my last passenger's neighborhood. So they've got them all over. They got the dogs out uh, looking in the woods. And um, huh. we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, we'll be back. All righty, that was uh, Tatiana, and um, that was another nice long trip. So we are doing. Now the problem is <laughs> getting out of this neighborhood. Um, I am way up in, I'm not way up, but I'm in Clinton, Maryland, which is 
an area I have no idea, I don't know anything about it, so I turned off my app so I can get back at least to the interstate so I know my way home going uh, south. But anyway, that was a good ride, and um, let's see, how much was that one? That one was, that was 1851. So, let's see, I'm uh, seven trips, $110. So, 15, $16 a trip, not quite $16 a trip. Uh, still very good, still very good, we're liking that. And I just got a couple of tips. I only had $1 cash tip today on cash tips. And my electronic tips are up to $17, so I'm not sure how many I got today. Um, but uh, life is good. And I think Tatiana, uh, yeah, she gave me a $3 tip. So cool. Thank you, my dear. Just in case any of y'all are watching on uh, my Uber DC channel, I appreciate every penny I get, as does all of the drivers. All right, let's see if we can uh, get a couple of more. It's a little bit after 7 o'clock p.m. on the East Coast, and uh, it's been overcast all day, so it's going to get dark a little early tonight. All right, we'll be back. If not, we'll uh, we'll definitely be back to sign off or talk about another trip. We'll see. All right, everybody. Well, good evening, everybody. I'm not sure what the rest of the night is going to bring. I did want to let you know that uh, tip jar did pretty good. Tip jar did not disappoint. Um, I still won't be doing a tip jar Tuesday show. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it won't be but uh, hey we did have a good uh, good night so far up to $110 and like I said I think uh, what I say 17 18 dollars in uh, electronic tips and uh, I think overall for the two days I've got uh, over 20 bucks easily over $20 in cash tips maybe even over 30 um, but anyhow um, I think I don't know if I'm gonna stop driving the rest of the night but I think I'm done vlogging. I know I said that last night, and I had uh, ended up coming back on again. So maybe that'll happen again. But if not, as always, everybody, be safe. Stay hydrated. <laughs> and with that, it's a pretty good chance I am out of here. Good night. Oh, and P.S. Paula, you never called me. I just don't understand you, young lady. I just don't understand you. <laughs> All right. We may be back. We might not. Cheers, everybody.